Rena with the latest from the KHSAA Boys Sweet 16 tournament. Well, Chris, Dia, the... The mood of Rupp Arena right now, it's so infectious. There's smiles everywhere, oh, laughter nice. everywhere. And right now, that's why. It's all about Estill County and Corbin County today. They tipped off at noon. And what's special about Estill County being at Rupp Arena today, there it's a historical game. For Estill County, this is their first time in school history to make it to the KHSAA Boys Sweet 16 tournament, which leaves many fans Round and blue anxious, yet proud of the boys who turned a rocky season beginning into a full force now. Waiting on the buses to roll in with all of our kiddos from Estill County. Awesome. I think we've got about six bus loads, and I know that they are excited. Really? So we're excited for them to get here. Oh, my God. We've got our band, our pep club, and all of our kids from Estill County. For the Corbin fans, though, they tell me they're excited Estill County made school history this week, but they're not going to let their Cinderella story hinder their players' performance on the court today. Andrew Taylor, you know, ball Andrew out. Taylor, all the way. What, what, about, yeah. what, about, what about Andrew Taylor? What is it about him that you all like so much? Oh, it's the way he plays. He's just everything. He's unselfish. You know, he can shoot it. He can dunk. He can share the ball. He's just, he can play. Now, there will be plenty of basketball left to watch after Estill County and Corbin leave the court today. Coming up at 1.30, tip-off for Scott County and Trinity. Many people are looking forward to that, as they tell me. But for now, we're covering the news in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you.